Hey everyone, welcome to our very first Wonderbolt one box project. The goal of this series is to try to make something really cool with Wonderbolts and just a single cardboard box. So in this video we're going to be building a catapult. And as you can see here, this catapult is built out of a single box and an egg carton serves as the bucket. And when you pull it back and let go it launches whatever is in the egg carton. So we've got here a small cardboard box and all the cardboard you're going to need for this project is going to come from this one box. So the first step here is you're going to fold down the two sides, the two longer sides, like this. And then you're going to fold down the smaller side over top. Then with a marker or a pencil, you're going to make a line over here, and a line over here, just to show where the small flap ends. There we go. Then with a ruler, you're going to draw a line between these two, just like that. And then you're going to measure the distance from the edge of the box to that line. And here we're looking at about three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to make another notch or another line about three and a quarter inches down here. And we're going to join that line. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So let's measure out that distance, about the same. And make a line here. Perfect. Next thing we're going to do is from the bottom of the box, we're going to measure up two inches. And we're going to join those two and make a line. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So that's two inches from the bottom of the box. There we go. And then we're going to do the same on this edge of the box. So this is the edge of the box that's opposite from where you folded this in to make that line. All right, so you can see the difference here. We've got a shorter end over here and a longer side. You're going to be measuring the two inches on the longer end. And what we're going to do here is actually we're just going to connect the lines from the other ones we had drawn on the side. So we can see a little bit of that black over here, a little bit over here. We're just going to join those two. There we go. So now this is what your box should look like. So the next step now is to cut this. There's a number of ways you can do this. You can either use some scissors if your box is thin enough, that's no problem. Um, the other option you have is to use a box knife. Now if you're going to be using a knife, just make sure to have an adult help you so you don't get hurt. Otherwise scissors are just fine as well. Alright, so I'll give you an example here. I've got some scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut down this line we've drawn here. So scissors work perfectly well. If you're going to be using a box knife, that's also okay. But again, have an adult help you. And in this case, I'm just going to try to use the ruler to make sure the knife stays straight. And there we go. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now these cuts don't have to be perfect. There's plenty of room for variation here. So don't worry if you're not cutting perfectly straight or if your scissors are not cutting perfectly straight, that's totally fine. Just try to get as straight as possible. There we go. All right, so now we've got this piece left over. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna fold these two inner parts and fold the longer part on top of it. Okay, as though we're closing up the box. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take 
a marker and mark a dot about here. It doesn't matter exactly what the measurements are, but just about that kind of proportion from the edge. All right, you don't want to go too far in here. You want to try to stay close to the edge, but give yourself about an inch, I'd say, from the edge of the box. Now, the next step you want to do is you want to make a hole through the box and through this. So through this part here and through this over here. Now, if you've got a Wonderbolt kit at home, you can use the hole punch and the palm stop to do this. Just place the palm stop underneath, place the hole punch on top, and just punch through. Um, an alternative, if you don't have a hole punch, or if you don't have one of our kits, you could just use a pencil, for example, and just make a hole through with a pencil. That'll work as well. The only problem you want to make sure of, if you, if you put your hand underneath here and push the pencil through, you're going to get hurt. So have something else underneath just to hold it so the pencil doesn't go through and, and hurt your hand. All right, I'm going to hold it a bit on the side here so the pencil can't hurt my hand, and then you can just push that through. Right, so that's one option. But in this case, I'm gonna use the hole punch because it provides the right diameter hole. So let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, so you can see now the hole went through both of these. Now we're gonna close this up and use the Wonder Bolt to close the flap. Just like that. Same thing on this side. Just like that. All right, the first part of our catapult is done. This is going to be the base that the catapult is going to be attached to. All right, so the next step now, we're going to put this aside. The next part is to build the arm of the catapult, which we'll be doing out of this piece. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold these over like that. And you're going to flip it over so the longer part's on the table and do this and we're going to draw a line here there we go so this is what you're going to end up with we've drawn a line just to show how far that extra piece of cardboard when you fold it over we have a little bit of extra cardboard here we want to remove this extra cardboard okay so in this case i'm going to use a knife you can use scissors or another tool There's one. Another. There we go. All right, so now when you fold this over, both sides should be exactly the same size. Perfect. The next step is to cut off just a little bit off the edge of the center piece. So not too much, just a little bit. We'll take this much off here. Same thing on this side. There we go. And you'll see why we did that in just a moment here. So I'm going to close this over and close this over. And this is going to be our catapult arm. This is how it's going to look when we actually attach it into the box. Okay, so the next step is to put in the pivot joints. So we're going to measure those out. So from the edge over here, we're going to measure out about... one inch from this edge and one inch from the bottom as well and just put an x there where the two one inches intersect same thing on this side one inch there and there the intersection will be just about there. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to put this aside for a moment. And now in this frame, we're going to make the matching holes. So we're going to measure half an inch from the edge of that line. And we're going to measure one inch from the bottom. So this one is going to be right there. We'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Now we're going to punch some holes through. So I'm going to use my palm stop and hole punch. And again, you could use a pencil if you wanted. There's one. There's the other. And we'll do the same here, but before we punch that hole through, we'll fold this over and then punch both sides at the same time. There we go. Same thing on this side. Excellent. All right, so now we've got our pivot points. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the elastic anchor. So this is where the elastic is going to be attaching to your arm. So let's measure that out. So this doesn't have to be exact in terms of where you're putting this in, but I'll give you an approximate measurement or an approximate location here. So this is going to be about, I'm taking about three quarters of an inch from the top and approximately two inches from the edge here. I'm going to put one hole right there and same thing here. It came out perfect. All right. And same thing here again. We're going to fold this over and use our hole punch. Same thing on this side. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is put in the anchor for where the egg carton holder is going to go in, that egg carton bucket. So that's going to go right in the center over here. So let's measure out the approximate center of this piece. So let's say we're looking at about six inches. So this is going to be about three inches. Right there. So we're going to fold this over. Use the hole punch. and put that central hole in there. Perfect. Now the next stage of what we're going to do is we're going to trim off these corners because as the arm of the catapult is turning, these corners will get stuck in the box. So we're going to take these corners right off. Again, you don't have to be perfectly accurate here, just approximate. We're going to fold this over and just cut off the corners right around here, for example. There we go. Same thing on this side. Perfect. All right, so this is what this piece will look like. There's one last step that we've got to take care of. I'm going to flip this piece over here. And we've got to score an indentation here because we need this to fold closer to the edge of this. If you remember, we cut off a little bit of that central part here. So what we need to extend the fold further down. So instead of folding out, for example, instead of folding out here, we wanted to fold closer to the edge of this cardboard piece and that'll allow it to fit in the box a lot easier. So what we're going to use is the scoring tool. Now if you don't have something like this using a ruler for example might work as well. You can go over here and just press down into the cardboard to allow it to fold or you can use our scoring tool and do that as well. One there, one there. Okay so now you can fold the cardboard a lot closer the edge of that. All right. 
Perfect. So now let's assemble this part into the frame. The way we do that is we're going to fold this over, fold this over, and fold this over. And we're going to place this into the frame like that. We're going to take a blue wonder bolt, put it through the top from the outside of the frame, and then through the hole we made in the arm. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Take a blue wonder bolt, push it through the outside of the frame, and then into the holes we made, those pivot holes we made into the arm. All right, now we're gonna close that off with the nuts. Same thing on this side. Now you don't want to close these nuts off too tight, otherwise it'll make the arm not move very well. So you want to close it off, but you want to leave a little bit of slack so there's, there's some movement here. Okay? There we go. The next thing we want to do is we're going to put a wonder bolt now from the outside through this elastic anchor hole we made. We're going to close that off tightly. So this one you want to make sure is nice and tight. Same thing on the other side. Make sure this one here is nice and tight. All right, now the next step is to actually attach the elastic. All right, so we're going to take this elastic here. And these are also provided in your Wonderbolt kits. If you don't have an elastic like this, a, a bungee cord might do, or you can tie several elastics together and see if you can get that to work. Okay, let's cut this elastic open. So we have one long stretchy string. Now we're going to thread this through this wonder bolt here. And now we're going to tie a knot. Now I recommend at least three, just to make sure it's thick enough that it won't slip through the wonder bolt when you're pulling the catapult down. All right, something big enough to go through. So you've got this big knot over here that won't go through the wonder bolt when it's pulled. Next thing you're going to do is try to get the elastic to go up through the bottom of this wonder bolt over here and come out the top. All right, so we're going to do that. There we go. We're going to pull that elastic through. And now the next step is to raise the arm completely. And keep the elastic nice and tight. Then you're going to put the elastic down through this wonder bolt. And pull it through and again you want to make sure it's nice and tight all right and lastly we're going to put the elastic now up through this wonder bolt on this side there we go so you can see it's basically going from the outside through this wonder bolt up through the bottom of this one, down through the top of this one, and then up through the bottom of this one to the other side. You're going to keep the arm closed and you're going to pull this tight and try to, just like if you're tying up shoelaces, just try to get the elastic as tight as possible. There we go. Now we're going to tie a knot on this side. This one is a little bit tricky because the elastic is going to be tight. You want to make sure you don't loosen the elastic as you're tying the knot. So if you need some help, just ask an adult to help you. There we go. So we've got a knot on this side holding the elastic in place. Now if you pull back on the catapult arm, it pulls on the elastic here. And if you let go, it goes up. So that's the action of the catapult. Okay, so the last step is to attach the bucket. So I've got an egg carton here that we can use. I'm going to take this piece of it and you can just use scissors to cut this open. There we go. All 
All right, so this will be a perfect bucket. The next step we want to do is this bucket is going to attach over here. So we want to make a hole on this side to so the bucket. We can put a wonder bolt through it here. I'm just going to use a pencil here to mark where I want the hole to be. And also you could use a pencil or the hole punch just to make a little perforation right there just to get it started and then push your pencil through. I'm going to use a hole punch here just to widen that hole a bit. And now we're going to put a wonder bolt through the inside of the bucket like that. And then through this hole that we've prepared, just like this. And then we close it with a nut. Right there. And there you have it, our one box catapult. Let's test this out to see if it works here. I'll put a nut in there. There it goes. I hope you all enjoyed this one box Wonderbolt project. If you did, please hit like on the video and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more really cool things you can make out of Wonderbolts. We'd also love to see what you're all coming up with as well. So if you've got some really cool one box project ideas or really any projects you've come up with with Wonderbolts, be sure to post pictures on Facebook or Instagram and tag us on that so we can check them out. And remember to hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. Thanks everyone. Now it's your turn to get up and go build something. Till next time.